So this year, uh, instead of going through and doing a super detailed video of everything that I bought, it's pretty similar to last the last time I did the Buffalo. I didn't do this last year because I was going to Alaska, but uh, it's pretty similar to two years ago in 2017 when we did it. Um, the only thing that's really different is just some of the gear stuff. Um, I'm now running two gray water filters. That's going to be one that's going to be tethered to my kayak. I can just dip in the water as we're going to press and filter. And I've got the GeoPress in my kind of my day pack. So these two things are going to be the only two things that are external outside my kayak. My bucket will sit in the back, and this will sit right behind my seat. Both of these will be tethered in with bungee cords, um, and it's pretty much all the stuff that. I need to get quick access to these are all my dehydrated meals my whole cooking system I've got two bottles of butane or uh, propane whatever it is um, and my stove in there and all my dehydrated meals for like dinner for hot meals and stuff and then everything in here is basically everything that I'd want to take with me um, on a hike if we're gonna go up and have lunch or whatever I can grab my food out of my food bag and then just throw it in this roll top dry bag that I got off Amazon a few years back. It works really, really well. But basically, everything in there is just kind of like what I would carry uh, on, uh, on in, in like my Hidden Woodsman day rug. So I've got a tarp, uh, a cutting tool, saw, first aid, uh, tourniquet, um, all that stuff. So that's all stuff that I can just open up and quickly get to uh, that's going to be on the outside of my kayak. I don't have to pull anything out. And then everything else is going to be going inside my kayak. So I have a clothes bag. Um, all the clothes that I bring are really lightweight, quick drying stuff. Um, the pants are the ones that zip off and can be turned into shorts. Um, so those are all the clothes. Those are going to get stuffed down in my kayak between my legs. Uh, that will slide down in between it. It squishes, and that's kind of what I can get to at camp. I can just open up my center hatch and get fresh clothes out. Then this is my bedding. It looks pretty big, but it's just because uh, I've got a backup pad in there. I'm kind of worried about the pad that I've been sleeping on um, this it might have gotten a hole in it uh, this last trip because something poked through the bottom of my tent a cactus thorn and I think it popped my pad but I'm not sure so I'm bringing my, my spare pad uh, and then two blankets one's a down blanket and the other one's a snug pack jungle blanket I'm not running any kind of a sleeping bag or anything I do pretty well with that I just throw wool socks on and then I can split those two blankets and kind of double them up if I'm cold or put the uh, down blanket down on my feet and the snug pack up by me and this is just kind of like a little odds and ends bag that'll get crammed over to one side of my kayak so I have four dry bags and then my um, bag that will be on the outside and then this is my tent so I have my ground pad my tent and my rain fly and this that'll be at the very top of the dry hatch in my kayak so we'll pull that out first and then my tip poles are right there and it slides on the side. So this is everything. It looks like a lot, but we're doing uh, six days. Uh, gonna try to get all 130 miles done. And honestly, uh, it wasn't looking that great just a few weeks ago, but now the weather's starting to, to turn for the, for the better. And this might be the best chance that we've ever had to get uh, all 130 miles into the Buffalo. So I'll try to remember and film stuff um, as we get to camp but it's pretty heavy on food pretty heavy on food and comfort because really the only thing that we're going to be doing on this trip is uh is eating paddling and sleeping um i didn't bring a bunch of fun gear stuff uh it's it's literally just the bare essentials i i used to bring way more than this on the trip and now it's gotten weighted down to four dry bags my tent bag and a day in a day pack so all right, well, uh, we head out tomorrow, so I will be filming uh, more videos uh, to add to this.